get my watch going. And today, we're gonna start in a comfortable seated position, uh, like we do most of the time, but whatever that means to you. So kind of get yourself comfortable as I turn on some music. Got a message here. Oh, hey, how are you? I'm doing well, how are you? So glad you can make it. You always make it to the yoga classes. Well, as much as you can. I always appreciate that. And Bertelli. How are you today? I hope you're ready for some yoga. Hope you're ready to like take your Monday to the next level. I love the yoga class. That makes me so happy to hear because I wasn't sure for the longest time if I wanted to keep doing this because um, I was like, do people like it? But I mean, it's just people like you that keep coming back and make me realize like, yeah, this is something I like doing and people are getting something out of it. So thank you so much um, for, you know, doing my class. Let me turn this up slightly. All right, we're gonna get started. We're gonna get settled in. We're gonna slowly close the eyes. I'm just gonna give you a little smiley face here because I appreciate you. Ooh, hopefully that guy didn't fall down the stairs. <laughs> All right, we're gonna inhale, sit up nice and tall. Again, close the eyes or soften the gaze. Let the hands rest comfortably on the knees or the lap. Start to breathe in and out of the nose and connect with your breath here. Breathing in and out, slowing it down, maybe lengthening those breaths. And maybe right now setting intention for today's practice. And that can be something small, maybe a yoga goal or something a little bit bigger that you're working on in your life. But whatever it is, just take that with your practice as you move through each pose keeping it in the back of your mind. From here, inhale slowly, start to point the nose up toward the sky, lengthening the neck. And exhale, slowly nod the head down, bringing the chin to the chest, stretching out the back of the neck. Again, inhaling, pointing the nose up toward the sky. And exhale, slowly lowering the chin to the chest once again, this time holding it here. And slowly start to roll the neck from side to side. Working out any kinks you might feel. And whenever you start feeling comfortable, you can move into full neck circles. Here you can open the eyes once again. I do like to sometimes keep my eyes closed here just because it feels so good. Whenever you're ready, reverse the direction of your neck rolls. Making sure we get both directions and being conscious of your back here still. We wanna keep our back nice and straight. On your next inhale, slowly sit up nice and tall. Chin parallel with the floor. Inhale, both arms up toward the sky. And exhale, bring the right hand down, left arm up and over, gaze is up toward the sky, stretching out the side of the left body. I like to really reach my fingertips, it just adds a little added, added intensity. Exhale, coming all the way over to the other side, dropping the left hand, right arm up and over, gaze up toward the ceiling. Again, using those fingertips to really stretch that right arm up and over. Making sure you're keeping that right hip down as well. We don't really want to be reaching up like that. We want to be anchored down onto the floor. Inhale back up to the center. We're going to bring both hands out to the side, sitting up nice and tall, slowly taking this left hand, bringing it over to the right knee and bringing the right hand behind the back. We're going to slowly turn with the torso. So slowly, Looking back behind you, gaze goes past your right shoulder and into a twist. As you inhale, sit up tall. And as you exhale, twist just a little deeper. Inhale, sitting up tall. And exhale, twist. On your next exhale, slowly find your way back to center. We're gonna do the other side. Straightening the spine out first, taking that left hand, bring it behind the back, right arm 
comes over to the left knee and slowly start to twist the torso. And then let your gaze go behind the left shoulder. Inhale, sitting up tall. And exhale, twist. Again, inhale, sitting up tall. And exhale, twist. One more inhale. And exhale, come back to center. You might even feel your spine already getting a little bit more warmed up. We're gonna inhale the arms back up toward the sky, interlace the fingers and open up the hands toward the ceiling. Exhale, bringing those hands in front of the body, parallel with the floor and taking this moment here to really round the spine, bring the shoulders forward, almost like you're rolling the shoulders, bring the chin to the chest. Hold it here for a breath, inhale and exhale. Inhale, sit up nice and tall, roll those shoulders back, coming to a nice straight spine, shoulders away from the ears, inhale and exhale out. Your next inhale, you're gonna release the hands and roll over into your tabletop or swing your legs around, whatever is most comfortable for you. Again, for our tabletop, hands are spread nice and wide. Our wrists and shoulders are aligned and our hips and our knees are aligned. We're gonna go through some cat cows. Inhale, slowly tilting the pelvis up as you lift the chin up toward the sky. Cow pose, exhale. Slowly bring the chin to the chest, rounding the spine like a cat into cat pose. Inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. And one last time, inhale into your cow pose. And exhale, cat. Inhale back to center. You're gonna take that right leg stretched on back behind the body, flexing the foot. Really flexing the foot here if you'd like. You can do some ankle rolls. I always do, just because it feels really good. Then you're gonna take the left hand, reach it out in front of you, finding a straight line from the hand to the foot. Keep the foot nice and flex, pressing the wall away with that foot. Oh, sorry I'm late, finishing watching Plumbell's new video. Oh, nice, how was the new video? I haven't seen it yet. But um, how are you today, Jessica? We're gonna exhale, bring the elbow to the knee, and inhale, straighten. Exhale, elbow to knee, whoops, almost fell. <laughs> inhale, straighten. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, straighten. Last time, exhale, elbow to knee. And inhale, straighten, hold it here. One more breath, inhale. Exhale, down. Switching sides, taking that left leg, stretching on back behind the body. She did it, each room is a different, oh, YouTuber, that's interesting. Oh, and make sure you roll your ankle here. Ooh, I've been better, how about you? I'm pretty good, it's still early in the day. Um, had a really long weekend, so I'm hoping that I can take this afternoon off. <laughs> From here, you're gonna take the right hand, stretch it out in front of you. Finding a straight line from your hand to your foot. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, straighten. Last time, exhale, elbow to knee. And inhale, straighten. We're gonna hold it here for breath, inhale. And exhale, down, dropping the hand and the knee. We're gonna open up the knees nice and wide. Toes touch. We're gonna go back into our child's pose, pressing on back. Moving the arms forward, dropping the forehead down to the mat and finding a couple breaths here in your child's pose. I'm gonna give you an option here for a twist. So inhale, take the right arm up toward the sky, opening the chest toward the side wall. Exhale, bring the right hand underneath the left and thread the needle, bringing the right temple down to the mat and find your little twist here. 
If you'd like to take it a little further, you can take that left arm up toward the sky and left hand behind the back. And taking a couple breaths here, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, if you had a twist, you're gonna take that left arm back up toward the sky and drop it down. Inhale that right arm up toward the sky and then bring it back down toward the mat. We're gonna do the other side, inhaling, bring the left arm up toward the sky. Exhale, thread that left arm underneath the right, left temple down onto the mat. The right hand is continuing to stretch out in front of the head. If you'd like, you can take that right arm up on an inhale and bring it behind the back for a little twist, a little bind. And maybe close the eyes here in your, your twist. Oh, I liked your new post. You represented the house really well. Thank you. Inhale, light, right arm back up toward the sky. Exhale, back down. Inhale, the left arm up toward the sky, twisting open. And exhale, back into your child's pose. Inhale, cat the spine as you roll into tabletop. Bring the knees back underneath the hips and your back into your nice square tabletop. But thank you, Jessica. I had a lot of fun making Bojack's house. Um, I still have one more post tomorrow and I tried really hard to get it exactly, um, I mean, to get it as close to the real thing as possible. That was not easy. <laughs> From here, we're gonna quickly do puppy dog pose um, because we are doing a lot of back stuff and shoulder stuff today. So we want to keep the knees and the hips aligned here. Go to walk the hands forward and you can bring the forehead down to the mat or the chin. Whatever you do, you're gonna feel a good opening in the shoulder and in the back. Let the heart melt toward the chest and take a couple breaths here, inhale. And exhale. And again, if at any point this gets really intense, you can kind of come out of it. You can always come into child's pose at any point if you are feeling really tired. Inhale, coming back up into our tabletop. You're gonna tuck the toes and exhale, downward facing dog. Pedal the feet out, pressing one heel down at a time, breathing into the backs of the legs. Relax the neck in between the shoulders. Let the fingertips spread wide on the mat. Taking just another breath to walk the feet out until finding some stillness. You can have a nice soft bend in the knees if you need to. That's not a problem at all. Taking a round of breath, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, lift high up on the toes. And exhale, press the heels back down. Inhale, high up onto the toes. Exhale, press the heels back down. Inhale, high up onto the toes. And exhale, back down. From here, we're gonna exhale, bend the knees. And inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend the knees. And inhale, straighten. And this last time, we're gonna combine the two. Inhale, come high up on the toes. Exhale, bend the knees, look up at the hands, and walk up to your hands. We're not gonna hop yet. And what have you been up to today? Well, as we're in our forward fold, I'll tell you what I've been up to today. <laughs> we're going to, you can take opposite elbows and sway from side to side if you like, or you can even bring the fingertips behind the back, interlace the hands, and find a forward fold that way. Um, so today I have eaten breakfast. Um, then I did a little cleaning of the house and then I uh, <laughs> watched the episode of Sims Sparked because I do not have cable and I got to see it on YouTube, which was super exciting. Then I made some dinner, or not dinner, wow, lunch, a little early at 11.30 and uh, cleaned a tiny bit more. <laughs> And here we are, <laughs> here we are. What have you done today? 
Exhale, whenever you're ready, release the hands wherever they are. Let them float down to the mat. Inhale, slowly roll up into Dasana. Bring the hands to your sides, letting the shoulders come down away from the ears. You're going to inhale both arms up toward the sky. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. And exhale, forward fold. This is going to be a nice sun salutation, so we're just going to move through to get some heat in the body. Taking the left leg, stepping it on back to a lunge, making sure that the knee is not going over the ankle. Taking a big round of breath here, inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. And as you exhale, step back to a plank. Inhale, lean forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the right leg up and swing it through to a lunge. Stay here for a round of breath, inhale. Ooh, train. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale, step forward into a forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, roll all the way up, bring the arms up above the head, palms come together. Exhale forward, or not forward fold, exhale, hands are in center. We're going to do that one more time. Jessica, I'll read your message in one second. We're going to go through that flow one more time just to heat up the body. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step back with that left leg into a lunge. Inhale here. Plant the hands, exhale, plank. Inhale, lean forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, round of breath. And exhale. Inhale the right leg or the left leg up and swing all the way through to a lunge. Inhale here. And exhale. Inhale, and exhale, step it forward into a forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. And inhale, roll all the way up, bringing the arms up above the head, palms together. And exhale, lower the hands to heart center. Now we're going to slow things down again and get into some more fun, creative flows. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Tent the fingers, step back with the left hand, or the left foot into a lunge. All right, today I woke up, watched Peppa Pig with my younger brother. That sounds like fun. It's still a good show. And then I had breakfast, played with my brothers, went on the phone, ate lunch, went on the phone, <laughs> ate dinner, and then watched Plum Bella's new video, came here. Oh yeah, I watched SimSpark earlier. Nice, how did you like SimSpark? It also sounds like a good day. Exhale, drop the left knee, untuck the toes. Sorry about the train. <laughs> um, you're gonna walk the hands up the leg and inhale, reach the arms up toward the sky. Again, making sure that that knee is not going over. I loved it. I did too, I thought it was really intense. It, was, it felt really fast it was a 45 minute show so it was like sweet. From here, we're gonna go into a little bit of a back bend. We're gonna bring the arms into goal post and look up toward the sky, exhale. Inhale, back up, and exhale, drop the hands to frame the foot, tuck the left toe, lift up off of the knee, and step back into a plank. Here, we're gonna shift our weight forward and plank our head shattering all the way down to the mat. So exhale, down all the way, dropping everything all at once, untucking the toes. From here, we're gonna just work on the back a little bit. We're gonna inhale, bring the arms toward the front of the mat and bring our elbows underneath our shoulders into sphinx pose. Pressing the shoulders away from the ears, engaging the belly button and the core. The top of the head comes up toward the ceiling. 
And then from here, slide all the way back. The last episode is 10th of August. Episode, oh, one episode each Monday. That makes sense. I'm excited to see, I don't know who's gonna win, but they, it's a, I'm excited to see how the show turns out. <laughs> from here, we are going to get into a little bit of a stretch here. So we're actually gonna come forward again, back into Sphinx Pose, I'm so sorry. And from here, we're gonna take the right leg, bend that knee, and we're gonna reach around with that right arm, and we're gonna go into a quad stretch. So grab onto that foot, and go as far as this is comfortable. So you might be here, and that's great, or you might be all the way down here, but wherever you are, breathe into that quad. Press into that left elbow as well. You're really staying alert here, not sinking into it. Really staying active through this arm. Keep breathing and exhale, release, bringing that right hand back down. Switching sides, bending that left knee. Inhale, bringing that left arm up and around and finding a quad stretch on this side. Gaze is past the left shoulder, so look behind you. And again, take one more round of breath, inhale. Exhale, release that foot. We're going to bring our elbow back down onto the mat, and now we're gonna come all the way down. Oh, now we're gonna get into the good stuff. So, <laughs> We'll start out nice and easy. We're gonna bring our arms to the sides. You can have the tops of the hands facing down or the uh, bottoms of the hands facing down. So whatever is more comfortable for you. And we're gonna break it up into two sections here. We're gonna start with our, um, just our legs first in a locust pose and then we're going to do our torso. So keep your forehead down on the mat. You're gonna start with our legs. So on an inhale, we're just lifting the lower portion of our body. So keep the hands, the head, and the chest down as you inhale, lift. Inhale, lift those legs up. And keep breathing here. We're gonna go around a breath, inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. And exhale down. So we're right there for long. <laughs> Cause we will be doing bow pose later. So from here, we're gonna do the top half of our body now. So this time, keep the feet glued down to the mat. Your hands, your chest, and your head will all lift on an inhale. So on your next inhale, lift up. Reach those arms behind the back. Feeling that back sensation. So if your back is speaking to you, only go as far as it is comfortable. <laughs> but it will always be a little uncomfortable. We're going to breathe here. Another round of breath. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, lift a little higher, and exhale, come all the way down, dropping the forehead down on the mat. Now you can take your knees, bend them, and do some windshield wipers <laughs> um, before we put those two together and lift both the top half and our lower half of our body. <laughs> all right, so whenever you're ready, come back onto your bellies, bring your feet straight up behind you, and now we're gonna lift everything, just staying connected, to the mat with our hips. So we're gonna inhale, lift everything up, the hands, the legs, the chest, the head. If you'd like, you can even interlace the fingers and get a little bit higher here. To our locust pose. One more inhale, try to get a little higher. And exhale, come back down. Release the hands, bring them underneath the shoulders. We're gonna tuck the toes and go into a downward facing dog, but take your time here. If you wanna go through tabletop and hit a cat pose, I very much welcome that. I'm actually gonna do that myself. So we're gonna hit a tabletop, hit a cat pose, tuck the toes, and into downward facing dog. Just as a little counter stretch there. <laughs> Inhale that right leg up toward the sky and bend the knees, stack the hips, and do three hip circles in both directions. You're going as fast or as slow as you like, making sure you get both sides. Very nice from here. Hold it for a round of breath, inhaling. 
and exhale. Inhale, swing that right leg forward all the way through to a lunge. From here, we're gonna tent the fingers. We're gonna kick up, now, when I say kick up, I just mean lift that back leg up into a standing splits. So on uh, inhale, kick your leg all the way up into that standing splits. Relax the neck. Maybe look down somewhere on the mat to help find your balance. You're gonna lift one hand or maybe lift both hands into your, well, into a bounce, but listen to your body. If you do not want to balance today, that's totally fine. Keep your hands down. But if you want to test yourself, feel free to grab onto the ankle or have your hands up. To come back down, we're gonna exhale, slowly bend into that standing leg, drop back into a lunge. We're gonna plant the hands and we're gonna kick this right leg back up into three-legged dog, kick it back up. And exhale, drop that right foot back down. Switching feet, inhale that left leg up toward the sky. Bend the knee and stack the hips. Ooh, and do three hip circles in both directions. Waking up this side of your hips now. Making sure you continue to breathe while you are in downward facing dog since your head is lower than your heart. When you are done with your hip circles, find a breath here in stillness. And exhale, we're gonna swing that left leg all the way through into a lunge. Very nice. From here, tent the fingers. We're gonna kick this right leg back up into a standing splits. Inhale, kick. And again, here we can play around with our balance. You can stay right here with your fingertips on the mat or the floor, or you can try lifting one hand or maybe both. Maybe grabbing onto the ankle or bringing the arms up. Whatever is in your practice, whatever you feel like doing today, go ahead, give it a try. As long as it's not hurting you. From here, we're gonna come back into our lunge. So we're gonna bend into that standing leg, slowly bring that right foot back down, plant the hands, and big exhale, kick back into three-legged dog with that left leg up to the sky, exhale, kick. And then inhale, swing back through to a lunge. Ah, very nice. We are going to slowly exhale, lower the right knee, untuck the toes. Walk the hands up the leg. And inhale, arms up toward the sky into a low crescent lunge. Exhale, we're gonna slowly go into a back bend here. Goal post, the arms look up toward the sky. Inhale. Bring the arms back up and exhale, frame the foot. Tuck the right toe, lift up off of the knee and take a big step forward into a forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold, melting back down toward the thighs. Inhale, slowly roll up to the dasana. Bring the arms up toward the sky, palms come together. And exhale, lower the hands, heart center. Inhale, reach the arms up again toward the sky, and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold, tent the fingers, and step back with that left leg. We're gonna get a little stretching in since that always feels good. So from here, drop the left knee, untuck the toes. Slowly start to shift your weight back toward that left leg as you flex the right foot. Keeping that right leg straight or have a slight bend in the knee. You're gonna walk the hands forward. Gaze is slightly past the toes. Hinging from the hips here to get a better stretch. I like this song. It's another free YouTube song as well. <laughs> from here, we're gonna slowly come back onto that foot, bending into the right knee. Coming on to the left hand and inhaling the right arm up toward the sky, twisting the body into easy twists. 
Exhale as you lower the right hand in between the hand and the foot and heel toe the right foot to the outer edge of the mat or slightly out to the side, giving yourself a little bit of room. Now we are here ready for our lizard pose. So you can stay up high or you can come down onto the elbows. Relaxing the neck. You don't have to come onto the elbows again. If, if it's too intense, you don't have to do it. But if you want to add some intensity, come to the outer edge of that right foot. Melting yourself closer down to the floor, really getting into those hips. And whenever you're ready, come back flat foot. Walk the hands back up. Tuck the left toe, lift up off of the knee. And we're gonna swing that right leg all the way back and around to a lunge, or no, a lunge, sorry, a plank. Can't get enough of those planks. <laughs> From here, we're gonna just do our regular chaturanga flow. So inhale, shift your weight forward, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. <sighs> inhale the right leg up toward the sky. Pointing or flexing the foot. Bend the knees, stack the hips. Stay here or flip your dog into wild things. So slowly dropping that right foot back behind the body, stretching the right arm away, lifting those hips toward the sky. Gaze is up toward the ceiling. Finding a round, round of breath here, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, slowly start to bring that arm up toward the sky and exhale, coming back into three-legged dog. Reach that right leg high. Exhale, lower that foot back down to the mat. Switching feet, inhale the left leg up toward the sky, flexing or pointing the foot. Bend the knees, stack the hips. And again, you can stay right here or flip your dog with me, slowly dropping that left leg behind the body. Lifting the hips up toward the sky, reaching the left arm up and away. And taking a breath here. Whenever you're ready to come back, inhale the left arm up toward the sky. Exhale down into your downward facing dog or three-legged dog. We're going to swing that left leg all the way through into a lunge. So take your time there. And now we're back into our lunge. Very nice. We're going to exhale, drop the right knee, untuck the toes. Shift your weight back into that right leg as you flex that left foot, reaching forward with the hands, hinging from the hips, gazes past the toes, and feel a nice stretch in the back of the left leg. Funky song. So from here, exhale. We're slowly gonna flatten that left foot. Once again, come back into your low lunge. Shift your weight to the right hand. Inhale into easy twist. Left arm up toward the sky. And exhale, drop the left hand in between the hand and the foot. Heel toe the left foot out to the edge of the mat. Giving yourself just a little bit of space and you can stay right here or get a little deeper into your lizard pose by dropping your elbow, maybe one, maybe both. Letting your neck just completely relax here. And if you do want to add a little extra onto this, you can come to the outer edge of the left foot, finding a deeper lizard pose. As you inhale, slowly come back flat foot. You're going to walk the hands back up. You're going to tuck the right toe, lift up off of the knee. Make sure you create a little bit of space. Bring your hands in toward one another. You're going to take this right foot. We're going to step back into a squat pose. So on an inhale, take a big step. Exhale, slowly come into your squat. So your feet are going to be turned out. Your hands are going to be at heart center. You can use your elbows to open up those hips just a little bit more. Sit up nice and tall, straight back if you can. And then from here, um, I've been having us practice our crow since it's something that it's, uh, if you don't practice, then, you know, 
it's not always how you don't have time to practice. So I'm going to give you some time to practice your crow. So since we are in a squat pose, the best transition here is a wide-legged crow. So taking your arms, bringing them down onto the mat about shoulder distance apart, coming up onto the toes and bringing the inner thighs onto the um, right above the elbow and making a shelf with those arms and you can find a little bit of a, a little bit of a balance here. Now if you do want to take it a step further, you can do the harder one. Make me do a headstand. <laughs> Thank you, Haley Kent Sim for that. All right, while you do the, the harder version, um, or you want to, actually let me see if I can, <laughs> let's see if I can do this right now. So while you work on your crow or your squat, I can do a headstand or a crow pose into a headstand. So let's see if we can do that. Oh, all right, so crow pose into a headstand. All right, and let's see, oops, let's see if we can get back into a crow. since I've done that. So from here, we're gonna flat back, exhale, forward fold. I'm also trying to put my hair up upside down, so that's, that's always fun. Um, here, we're gonna get into our mermaid pose. So this one's gonna be super fun. We're gonna tent the fingers, we're gonna step back with that left leg into a lunge. We're not getting into mermaid pose quite yet, but this is the flow, we're, we're doing it. From here, we're gonna inhale, walk the hands up. Oh, hey, what's up, Rocky? What's up, yoga time? We're just in time. You missed my headstand into, um, I did headstand into crow pose. Well, crow pose into headstand into crow pose. Inhale, arms up. And then from here, we're gonna do a little back bend. Exhale, bring the arms goal pose, look up toward the sky. Inhale, arms back up. Exhale. Bring your hands back down to frame the foot and step back into a plank. We're gonna move through your chaturanga flow. Dang, that's insane. Good job, thanks. I hope it looked as good, good as it felt. Inhale, shift your weight forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. From here, we're gonna inhale that right leg up toward the sky and we're gonna go Bend that knee. We're gonna bring the right knee to the right wrist, right ankle to the left wrist. We're gonna go into our pigeon pose. So, hey girl, how's it going? Oh, what's up, Chloe? How's it going? It looked great. Thank you, Haley Kent Sam. <laughs> I'm glad it did. Uh, it's going really well. We're getting into crow, or wow, I keep saying crow pose, into pigeon pose. It's a bird. <laughs> You're gonna tuck your Left toe, maybe scoot on back just to give yourself a little bit more space. Making sure that you make any readjustments you need to. But after this, I'm so excited. I'm gonna be playing Sims 1, so I'm really jazzed about that. So again, making sure that you're off of this right hip. You're gonna walk your hands forward and bring your forehead down to the mat. Letting gravity open up those hips. Um, and stretch out your legs. It feels really amazing. Uh, it's really important that we do sit here for just a couple rounds of breath before we go into our mermaid pose, since this is the setup for mermaid pose. And mermaid pose is one of my favorite poses to do on the beach for Instagram photos. <laughs> Admittedly, yes, I know, I know, it's a very basic move to do, but I just love the fact it's called mermaid and doing on the beach just feels natural, so. If you are into 
Beach yoga, this is one I suggest. That's so exciting. Oh, I missed the Sims one. I tried to look for a copy, but I can't find any. I had to, oh my gosh, Rocky, I had to, I had to find this online and it, I'm so glad it worked. I honestly thought this is not going to work and it ended up working. Um, so I'll send you that link. It's free and it's legal. So those are things that are very important to me. Well, legal, most important. Uh, and then free is also really awesome. So, and it's the complete collection too. It's got all the expansion packs. So if you are interested, I'll send that to you. And it also only takes up such a little space on your computer. It's a little wonky at first, cause you know, it's like, it's old. It's not meant for like new computers, but yeah, I will, I'll definitely um, send you that link. All right. One more round of breath here. And then we're walking our hands up. And well, when we get to the other side, I'll tell you more about it. Cause it's kind of funny. Um, about the Sims one. So from here, uh, if if your knees um, are very sensitive and you still want to do this pose, I suggest grabbing a pillow, a blanket, uh, even doubling up your mat by like bending your mat um, for your knee for this. If, hi friend, oh guys. Thanks Elena, yeah, you're welcome. I just love, guys, come on meet on my, my Twitch. <laughs> Let's all hang out. Uh, so yeah, if your knees are sensitive, make sure you double up on a mat or bring something underneath your knee or just completely opt out of this pose. So from here, let's just first stretch our um, quads. We did that earlier, but this is gonna be a little bit more intense. We're gonna slowly bend into that left leg. Grab onto that left leg with your left arm and just find a stretch here. And remember that pose we did earlier where we, we were stretching our quads? This is gonna, warm us up for this. So hopefully you feel a little bit more warmed up. Um, so I'm grabbing with my foot by all, I all of a sudden want to bring it to the inner, inner crease of my elbow. While you're doing this, your hips might be wanting to come on, or you might be wanting to come onto your hips. So make sure you stay up off of that hip. And you might even notice this knee is just starting to move around a bit. So if you need to make any readjustments, go and do that. We don't want to hurt our knees. So to get into this pose, once you feel a little bit more stretched out, you can bring your foot to the inner corner of your elbow. So bring it in right there. And this is a great place to be, just right here. You might just wanna stay, that's awesome. Um, or you can inhale, bring that right arm up toward the side, look up toward that hand. You might already feel your back feeling it. Bring that hand behind the head and see if you can grab onto your hand. Now, if you have a prop, like when I say a prop, I mean a towel, a, a t-shirt. It doesn't have to be a fancy yoga strap. It could be anything. It could be underwear for all I care. No one can see you. So you can use that right now. Have, have the prop in one hand and reach for it in the other. It's gonna really help. Now, this is mermaid pose. This is it, guys. And you're gonna wanna maybe feel, again, sinking in that hip. So constantly remind yourself to get stay up off of that hip. Now release that, we're gonna come back into a downward facing dog, slowly meet there and pedal out the feet because um, I can feel it, you probably can feel it too. All right here. <laughs> we're gonna do the other side, inhale, bring that left leg up and then swing that left leg through, bring the left knee to the left ankle, to the left wrist to the right. I said ankle, didn't I? Uh-huh, I meant to say wrist. Uh, so we're here in our pigeon pose, again, making sure you're off of that left hip. <sighs> I like to first, before I even go into pigeon pose, I like to straighten my, my arms. I just like to get a feel of how my hips are feeling, and then I will walk forward. From here, relax your forehead down onto the mat and just completely let it go. I'm just bringing my head up just so I can see the chat and I can talk. But if you're here, just leave your forehead down on the mat. Um, you can be here too. I'm still getting a good stretch. But it's what I wanted to say earlier, um, after I posted that I was gonna be streaming The Sims 1, I was so surprised how many people were like, where did you get The Sims 1? I really, really want <laughs> to, to get it. So uh, if anyone has that question, you can ask me on Instagram and I can uh, just send you the video that walked me through it. Again, completely legal, so. Because trust me, I was looking for it for like two, three years because I was dying to play it. And uh, yeah, and it works and it saves. So yeah, it's a little complicated to an install. So I will send you a video if you are curious how to do that. 
It also has, on this website, it has Sims 2 Castaway. Love, love, love that game. And they, um, I don't know if they have Sims 2 as well, but I do have Sims 2. I got it um, on another thing, but they might even have Sims 2 if you're looking for that. Anywho, take another round of breath here. And walk your hands up. Now we gotta do it on the side, all right. So let's do our pigeon pose first. Let's make sure, not our pigeon, sorry, our mermaid pose. Let's make sure that we are in the right situation. Make sure everything is good. Our hips feel nice and open. And we're first going to bend into that right knee and grab on that foot. Now one side might be better than the other. This side I tend to fall a little bit more onto my left hip just because that's the way bodies work. <laughs> one side is always better than the other. So just take your time, find a little stretch here. All right, and whenever you're ready, you're gonna bring that foot to the inner crease of your elbow. You can stay right here, or you can inhale, bring that left arm up toward the sky. And then if you'd like, you can find a prop or you can come into your... Oh no, I missed the headstand. Oh, can't do it on the side. I, it's so funny because this side is my bad side. Like one side, one side, I'm gonna just get out of it for a sec. One side's gonna feel possibly easy is not the word, just like, oh yeah, I got this. Then you do the other side and it's like all of a sudden you're, you're doing it backwards or something. So that's one thing just to take note of and, and just be like, okay, so when I do it on this side, I just have to work a little harder or practice it a little longer. <laughs> because so, I even felt myself like oh, falling every two seconds. Um, but this is definitely a pose that I will keep teaching and um, furthering because there is a further expression called King, King Pigeon. I'll quickly show you if I can get it that you are here. So we'll eventually, we'll eventually work on that, but not, not today. From here, we are going to come back into our downward facing dog. Ah, let's see the time. Because I always, holy moly, I don't even know how 47 minutes have gone by. Like that doesn't make any sense to me at all. <laughs> From here, we're gonna inhale, come high up onto the toes. Exhale, bend into the knees, look up at the hands and walk, step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Let's do one more little twist before we get down onto our backs. Uh, just because it's nice to kind of ring ourselves out after a practice like that. Um, what I want you guys to do is you're gonna keep this right leg straight and you're gonna bend into that left leg. Now you might already feel a stretch here and that's, that's great. What I want you to do is bring your right hand down right in front of that straight right leg. Inhale, open the left arm toward the side and look up toward that hand. You get a nice twist, twist action. You get a nice stretch in the back of that leg. And one more inhale. Exhale, bring your hand back down. Have a soft bend in both knees. And now slowly start to straighten that left leg. Tent the left fingers down in front of that left foot. Bend into that right knee. Inhale, twist that right arm open toward the sky. It's a nice gentle twist, but it feels really good. Gaze up toward the sky. And exhale, slowly bring the hands back down. Soft bend in the knees. Inhale, ragdoll roll up into mountain pose. <sighs> From here, we're gonna come down onto the ground. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing because I just got a text from friend. She knows who she is. Oh, hey, what's up, Pixel, what's up? We are doing Sims 1 today. Isn't that fun? Oh, and I totally forgot Hold on, let me get into my, my stretch and then I'll tell you what I forgot. <laughs> Inhale, bring your arms up toward the sky. Exhale, forward fold. From here, we're gonna sit into our chair, so come onto your heels. Inhale, bring those arms up toward the sky. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Inhale, sit up nice and high as you slowly start to exhale and sink deeper into your Heels. Lift your toes, wiggle your toes a little bit, make sure the weight is in the heels. And then we're going to do the exact opposite of what I just said. You're going to slowly bring the weight into the toes, 
lift high up onto the toes, into your tippy toes, and slowly, slowly come down into a squat, but this time high up on the toes. How are you today? I'm doing really well, actually. Um, it's been a good day so far. I mean, it's still pretty early for me. It's one, one o'clock, but uh, you know, there's a lot of day left. <laughs> From here, we're going to come down all the way onto our bottoms. How are you today though, Pixel? Um, what I wanted to say was I totally forgot to add the channel point to Boop Coconut's nose. And I noticed that right before I started streaming, I was like, oh my God. But um, it will be there. <laughs> I'll do it after my stream. I had a lot of projects to work on this weekend, so completely forgot about the nose booping like an idiot. From here, we're gonna work on our boat pose. So you're gonna bring your hands behind your legs. I'm fine, I've got my stupid hay fever. Ooh, that's not good. I hope you're starting to feel better. Like, that does not sound fun. You're gonna come up on the toes and inhale. Bring those legs up parallel with the mat. Oh boy, what do I got? Oh, is no hosting. Oh, thanks for hosting. Always appreciate that. <laughs> From here, you're gonna flex the feet, bring those arms out to your side, reach those fingertips forward. And from here, exhale into low boat. So you're hovering everything still up, but you're, you're not quite relaxed. You're really working here. Inhale back up into high boat. Exhale low. Inhale high. Exhale low. Inhale high. Exhale low. Two more. Inhale high. And exhale low. We're going to hold it here and pulse 16 times. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and relax. <sighs> From here, draw your knees to your chest. Give yourself a big old hug. And just let you know, if you're listening, Haley Kenson, I got your text. Go ahead. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna really rock from side to side. <sighs> Massaging our back. We did a lot of back stuff today. And from here, what I want you to do, first let me just read what I got. Um, oh, hay fever isn't that bad. Oh, it's just pollen making my knee, knee so. Need that after all that yoga. Yes, yes you do. Oh, chug some water. I'm gonna, I actually have water ready to go, which is kind of funny, so after this yoga, I'm gonna chug some water. But I do hope that you uh, get a little less stepped up. This is actually, um, what I'm about to do is a great pose for if you have your sinuses just completely stuffed, or if you have like a cold, I seriously do it. And it gives me some, some relief. It's not a cure-all, but it's shoulder stand. We do it all the time, but it's such a great pose if you do have any kind of congestion. So bring your elbows into the mat. You're gonna lift those hips up toward the sky, bring your hands to the low back, and the feet up toward the sky. It brings everything <laughs> that is congested just out, and it's like a neti pot without having to shove anything up your nose. It's pretty wonderful. Well, <laughs> it's not gonna make your nose like just all of a sudden drain, but it does give you some relief. When you are in shoulder stand, make sure that your hands are on your low back just for protection. And if you are nervous about being upside down or anything like that, just remember you're very, very close to the ground. The worst thing that can happen is you fall and roll. And even if you fall backwards, your toes can touch. If you fall to the side, I'm sorry, I don't know how that would happen, but you're good, <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. From here, you can play around a little bit, maybe go into the splits, uh, maybe crisscross those legs, because, uh, you know, you gotta get a good workout. And although I am looking to the side, I very, very much suggest you just keep your head straight up, look up at those, at the ceiling. Um, you don't wanna kink your neck. And at any point, you can come down into plow pose to get a little bit of a stretch. If your toes do touch, you can release the back of your back <laughs> and breathe here. You'll feel a stretch in the backs of your legs, maybe the hamstring, maybe the calves, depending on where you're tight at. Or maybe not at all if you're very flexible. Exhale, slowly start to roll back onto your back, letting each vertebrae hit the mat all as you come back down. From here, we're gonna go into our twist, bringing those knees over to the right side and bring the left arm out. You're gonna go and look past that left hand, so opposite way as your knees. 
and breathe into your twist as I look at the chat real fast. <laughs> hmm. Japanese act. Okay. Hmm. You know, I the first yoga studio that I was going to consistently also was an acupuncture studio, and it was something I've never tried. But I do have a lot of random aches and pains, <laughs> and it seems interesting. And I've read into it, and it's not a whole bunch of BS. I mean, there there's science to it, so it's something I'm interested in. So getting a whole mat that could like give you some sort of like sensation that would be pretty incredible <laughs> inhale back into center give yourself a big whole hug bring your head up toward the knees and from here you're going to drop the knees over to the left right arm stretches out toward the right gaze is past the fingertips yeah but definitely something i would be interested in especially like um you know you, at the end of a long day i do have a, um, a foam roller which is good for the back and some of the muscles, but sometimes you just need something a little deeper. So while you're here in your twist, make sure both of the shoulders are meeting the mat and you can close the eyes if you'd like. I always do like to close my eyes here during these final stretches just because it helps me relax just a little bit deeper. Inhale, come back to center. And from here, we're going to go into happy baby before we call it a day, before we get into Shavasana. So in happy baby, you're going to bring the hands to the inside of the thighs, but then grab onto the outside of the feet. Uh, so that way you are using your arms to kind of open up the legs a little bit, keep the low back on the mat, and you can kind of rock from side to side. I know this is a really silly looking pose. It's called happy baby. It is, it's silly. It looks silly, but it, it's good for you. <laughs> it's a great way to end the practice. If you ever go into a yoga class, a lot of the time they will end the practice in this pose and it does make you feel like a child again, which is a wonderful thing because uh, being a child is it's great. <laughs> Never lose your imagination, guys. Uh, from here, if you'd like to make this a little bit more intense, you can use the peace fingers, grab onto the toes and open the legs up into a little split, open up into straddle. Just kind of enjoy the way that feels one final stretch before Shavasana. I still like to rock from side to side while I do this, but you can remain still. So um, if that's something you don't like to do, just, just stay still. From here, you're gonna bring those legs back together. Let's give ourselves one final hug, wrap those arms around the legs, bring your head up toward the knee. Release the legs, inhale both legs up toward the sky and exhale. Flex the feet as you lower the legs all the way down onto the mat with control. You're gonna open up the knees hip distance apart. Um, is it almost since one time? Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, sweet, I'll send a link. Thanks, it was so helpful, thank you. Um, and do you prefer me calling you Jacob or do you prefer me calling you Pixel? I don't, either one, I, I'm not sure which people prefer, so. Um, and Jessica, it is almost time. We are doing Shavasana now. We have two minutes. So we, so Jessica, if you want to join me for these last two minutes of Shavasana, which is super chill, you can, or you can just hang out. That's totally fine too. Arms are by your sides, making sure you release any flesh that might be uncomfortable underneath your body before getting comfortable in your Shavasana. Palms can be facing up or down whatever is most comfortable for you. Closing the eyes and connecting with your breath one final time before our practice is over for the day. Maybe take this time to reflect on the intention that you may have set at the beginning of class. If you didn't, just take this time to reflect on the practice itself. See how you feel now in your body compared to what you felt like before starting these stretches and these poses, these asanas. Enjoy the way it feels to have the air move through your body, giving oxygen to the blood making you feel awake and energized, but also calm and relaxed at the same time.
Try to find any tension you might be holding on to right here and let it go. We're just gonna do two more rounds of breath here. Slowly on your inhale, start to give yourself a full body stretch, reaching those arms above the head, pointing the toes, extending the fingers, maybe wiggling them around a little bit. Exhale, draw the knees into the chest, giving yourself a big hug and rock from side to side. Eventually choosing a side to roll onto, into fetal pose. Slowly press your way up into a comfortable seated position. You can have your eyes remaining closed. Sims one, I know, <laughs> I sweated today, good. That makes me happy. Um, doesn't bother me, whatever makes you comfortable. Oh cool, sounds good. I'm uh, sorry, from here, we're gonna sit up nice and tall, let the shoulders melt away from the ears, inhale the arms up toward the sky, palms come together. Exhale, bringing the hands to heart center, pressing the thumb up against the chest, maybe feeling the heartbeat. Inhale again through the nose. And exhale out the mouth as you lower the chin to the chest. Blink the eyes open whenever you're ready. Thank you guys so much for joining today. I always really, really appreciate it. Namaste. Namaste.